Hi guys, Christy here. I wanted to say hello to you. It's been a minute since we have done a Morph Mindset series. It's been a very busy few months and lots of new things will be coming down the pike. But I wanted to say Happy Pride Month. Um, what an exciting and wonderful time we are living in um, where people feel like they can truly express who they are um, confidently. I think it's wonderful. Um, individuality is, is what makes us such a beautiful place. And I do believe that God made each of us the way we're supposed to be. Um, now, as young children trying to figure out who they are and what they are and what their labels are and so forth, it's a little bit scary. Um, but the pendulum will swing. And I do think, you know, in the beginning, it's important for us to have definitions and labels and all of those types of things. But my hope is that the government and the world treat each other as human beings, not as a label, not as gay, straight, queer, neurodi neurodivergent. Gosh, I can't even say that. I, and I am neurodivergent. <laughs> but you know, the more that we label ourselves to, um, the more that we live into those labels and can be closed off. So my goal and my thought and my energy is all about looking at human beings as human beings, not as their sexual persuasion or gender identification or any of those things. Um, when we treat people with love and compassion and respect, that's when they really grow. Granted, I know that there's a fight to be had for equal rights and so forth, and, and that will happen, and it has to happen, and I get it. Um, but man, we're all unique, and we were born that way because we bring a special something to this world that only we have. Um, and it's a beautiful place where people feel like they can express who they truly are and let their authenticity truly shine, um, because when they have the courage to do that, other people have the courage to do the same. Um, I'll tell you a little story. When my daughter was little, uh, she had a friend for like two years at school, and she talked to me about her friend all the time, all the time, and would describe her to me, and you know, said that um, you know she has ponytails and she loves ballet, and we like the same music and so forth. And it was just wonderful. And I'm like, I can't wait to meet her. And finally, after like a year and a half or so, I got to meet her. And she's this beautiful little African-American girl, beautiful black girl. Not once did my daughter mention the color of her skin or she looks different from me or any of that. Like it never ever crossed her mind to describe her friend by the color of her skin. And for me, I think that's a wonderful world to live in. And I just encourage you all to be open to uh, people from all different backgrounds. We have so much to learn. In fact, I think that, that, that God puts different people in our pathways so we have a reason to love and a, a reason to say, you're just like me. Um, we are all human beings. And once we realize that humanity is bigger than gender identity or uh, the job you have or, or whatever, we treat everybody equally with the golden rule in mind, we're gonna live in a pretty amazing place. So I have a lot of hope for the future and I hope you all do too. And uh, yeah, happy Pride Month. Be proud of who you are. You were made that way. Shine big.